discovery of system operations during system behavior analysis, involves a search for boundary, control, and entity classes. Allocation of operations often suggests adding such concepts as boundary control entity, as application classes to the system. System operations should be handled in the application logic, otherwise known as the domain layer. This is a much better approach rather than handling the business rules inside a single layer, that should be ultimately responsible for the user interface. Boundary objects are abstractions of the interface. Entity objects are the application independent and typically persistent domain software objects. And control objects are the typical use case handlers. Allocation of system operations during design changes to potentially using several use case controller classes. Using controller objects ensures that application rules are not handled in the interface layer. Technically, the responsibilities of a controller class could be handled in the interface object. But the implication of such a design is that a program code related to the fulfillment of the application rules would be enclosed somewhere in the interface or split between window objects. The design of interface as controller reduces the opportunity to reuse logic in future applications, because such design becomes heavily bound to a particular interface. For example, window-like objects are seldom applicable in other applications. By contrast, delegating system operation responsibility to the controller class supports the reuse of the business logic in future application designs. And since the application principles are no longer bound to the interface layer, it can be replaced with a different interface. Besides benefits of the increased potential for using the software component again, and pluggable interfaces, we also need to consider the internal state of the use case. It is sometimes necessary to ensure that system operations occur only in a legal sequence. Also, it is necessary to be able to reason about the current state of activity and operations taking place within the use case that is currently underway. For example, it may be necessary to guarantee that the made payment operation cannot occur until the end sale operation has occurred. If so, then the state information needs to be captured somewhere in the object. The controller is one reasonable choice, especially if the same controller class is used throughout the use case, which is recommended. Interface objects, for example, window objects and the interface layer, should not have responsibility for handling system events. To demonstrate, consider design, that uses a J-frame to display the information. Assume, the point of sale application has a window, that displays the sale information, and also captures cashier operations. Using the controller object. We can come up with acceptable relationship between the J-frame and its controller, as well as other objects. Notice that the sale J-frame class is part of the interface layer. The sale J-frame object passes enter item message to the register object. The frame class did not get involved in the processing or in deciding how to handle the message. The window only delegated enter item message to another application layer. Assignment of responsibility for system operations to application objects or to the business layer classes supports the increased potential for reuse.
Such arrangement also makes it easier to unplug the interface layer and use different interface framework or technology to run the system in an offline manner, known as batch mode operation.